the haul than this. So I thought I'd film how I got my makeup, um, how I did my makeup, sorry, not how I got it. So I've already put the professional onto my skin. I like it to sink in for a couple of minutes and then make, my, make sure my face feels a bit more smoother before I actually put my foundation on. Next is the foundation and I have the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade 12. I also have 12.2 but I feel like that's too dark. Um, so this is the one I'm going to be using. If you have dry skin, I do not recommend this foundation because when my skin is dry, it leaves, it clings to those patches quite easily. So really make sure you're wearing a hydrating primer and moisturiser, otherwise this foundation is not for you. As you can see, it's a very full coverage foundation. You can just about see the redness from my spot on that side. However, I really like it and it's very buildable. If you want to build another layer, you can build another layer. It doesn't look too cakey and you can just blend it into your hairline if you've got fake tan on. And yeah, I like it. Next is the Conceal and Define Concealer and I have the shade C5. So guys, if things look a little bit different in this video, I'm not sure if they will or not in this little clip now that I'm filming, just while I do the rest of my base, basically, my SD card won't let me put that little clip onto my phone to edit it, so I have to do it all over again. So I've already done my foundation and concealer as you've seen, so now it's time to powder my skin. So under my eyes, I like to use the RCMA powder, and then on the rest of my face, I like to use the Revolution Banana Powder and we're just going to do that really quick for you guys. So I like to take the end of not a damp beauty blender and just like make sure there's no creases under my eyes because I crease quite badly. Then, because I'm quite tanned and I actually don't have a dark enough bronzer at the moment, I like to take this Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette by Sleek In Light because the contour shade actually is quite a decent shade. Like, if you're fair, I wouldn't go for this. Then for blush, this is my favourite, favourite blush on pale skin and on my, my tanned skin. I'm not sure how it would do any, like, for anyone else, but I love this blusher. And this is the California Benefit Blo Blocks Box Blusher, and I love it. My favorite part is highlight, and my favorite highlight is this Mega Honey Highlight by Obsession, and it's just the best highlight ever. Um, and for the price, it's amazing. I feel like it's probably like five, six pounds, maybe even cheaper, like it's Obsession Makeup, which is, part of Revolution's makeup but it's a sister brand so and they're sold in boots so please if you're my kind of skin tone go and get that that highlight and I'm just using a P17 brush by Peaches and Cream which is my new favorite highlight brush since IMAX and if you feel like the highlight is too much you can literally just use the bottom of your beauty blender and just dab it around but I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows off camera just because there's nothing fancy I do to my eyebrows. I literally just use the collection Dip Brow Pom uh, Instant Brow Pomade in Dark Brunette, which you'll see on all my Instagram posts, and then my MUA Lash and Brow Gel in Clear, which is not clear anymore. I kind of tinted it myself, but I just keep using it. And I'm going to do them off camera and come back to you. And this is the missing clip finished. So next I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot in Rubenesque and this is just a lovely, lovely rose gold colour and I'm just going to put that all over my lid and you'll see why in a second. Then I'm taking my Berry Palette by Beauty Bay and I'm going to take 
this shade in the crease and then I'm going to take this shade in the outer corner. You want to make like a halo effect with that darker colour and then just blend it back into your transition shade. And now for the fun part, take more of that Ruben S paint pot and put it in the centre of your eyelids. And once you've done that, you just want to add a gold pigment on top of that Ruben X paint pot. And that will just make it pop a little bit more. And I have this pigment by Primark. God knows what collection it's from and I just use that. And I like to use pigments that I don't need to use glue with. And this Primark ones are brilliant for that. Then get, what left, then get what's left of your deeper shade and just blend out the edges and then it's time for mascara. I've added mascara and I added a bit of that darker shade to the bottom line and I've done my lips and I used Saw by MAC and as you can see it's getting a little bit shorter and I used 1995 by Gerard Cosmetics and that is the finished look. And it's very glowy, it's very me and I hope you guys enjoy this and enjoyed the tutorial. Um, yeah, please let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.